was my favorite show. Hey, my name's Derek. Hey, I'm Dr. Carol. I've been eating a lot, but I always feel hungry. My urine has a sweet smell. I've been having multiple headaches. I've been feeling tired, and there's a tingling feeling in my fingers and toes. Hey, Doc, sorry. It's in the bathroom. What's up, my boy? All right, well, I will. All right, well, I will get back to you after I talk to my colleagues about your symptoms. Thanks, Doc. All right, guys, so I have the symptoms. Okay, so what are they? Yeah, what's wrong? Well, he's been very hungry, extremely tired, tingling in the fingers and toes, and urines a lot with a sweet odor. Um, well, I have some ideas to what it might be. So do I, and I, I think they seem very plausible. Well, let's hear them. Well, anthosclerosis is a very good explanation for the tingling in the fingers and toes that he's been having. Because yeah. according to my research, it clogs up the arteries due to I bad diet, which causes tingling in the extremities. The problem is that if this is so, we need to act quickly because this can be extremely dangerous due to the heart attacks and strokes that follow. Oh, really? Well, that could be very dangerous. Well, here's what I thought. I think it's Raynaud's disease. Well, this usually occurs during someone's in adulthood, just like our patient. It causes numbness and tingling in the fingers and toes. That seems like a very valid choice, but I think I have an idea. All right, let's hear it. I think it could be anemia. You get very tired, just like our patient. Iron deficiency anemia cause low amounts of iron, which you need to make hemoglobin. It can explain his reasons for being tired. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, I'll go talk to our patient about our situation. Hello, we have some ideas that of uh, what may be wrong with you. Please tell me you figured something out. Yeah, what's your ideas? Well, I have a couple ideas. Some of them you might not want to hear about. They are atherosclerosis, rhinoid disease, or iron deficiency anemia. They all affect that circulatory system of yours. English, please. Okay, well, you don't have atherosclerosis. If you have this, it can be quite serious, as you might know. You get serious injuries like strokes or heart attacks. Oh, goodness. Well, it could also be anemia and rhinoid disease. This could explain your tingling in your toes and fingers and also explain the tiredness you've been dealing with. Thankfully, those aren't as harmful as anthropocrosis. Well, do you have any idea what it could be? Well, me and my colleagues are working on it, so I'll let you know if we find an answer. Thanks, Doc. Okay, well, I'm just doing my job. So, guys, we need to find an answer and quick. The patient's getting very nervous. So, we've been working hard, Doc, and I believe we have some answers. Yeah, I think you'll like to hear it. Thank God, let's hear them. Well, we don't necessarily have an answer yet. It's okay, Doc, just calm down. I don't want to calm down. For all I know, Derek's in danger. <laughs> Sorry, Doc, we're trying our best, dude. Just be quiet and tell him what you got. Okay, well, we have some ideas on how we can tell exactly what he's infected with. It's quite simple, actually. We just take blood tests of this patient, and according to our research, we can tell what he has or what he doesn't have based on this result. Yeah, see, Doc, it's quite easy. All he needs is a blood test. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, this will be very quick. All he needs is a couple of blood samples, and we figure out what's wrong with you. Well, that seems easy enough. Okay, we have the results. Let's get, let's get some work. Any sense. All the results tested negative for the diseases. 
Let's just go over them to make sure they're correct. Atherosclerosis, we gotta check for it. No, I don't think so, because he has a normal level of certain fats, cholesterol, sugar, and proteins in his blood. And it's not anemia either, because his hemoglobin count is perfectly normal for his age. Mm -hmm. It's not Raynaud's disease either, because he tested negative for an anti-nuclear antibodies in his immune system too. Oh, dang, dude, what is it? I don't know, man, I have no clue. Yeah. Well, I can see what it could be. Oh, spit it out. I think it's diabetes. What? How? Well, according to his blood test, his blood glucose concentration is greater than 125 milligrams per deciliter. So therefore, it's diabetes. Yeah, he's right. All symptoms add up too. Can't believe we didn't see this earlier. Doc, you gotta go let them know. Okay. I'll be right back. Well, we have good news, because we have your results. All right, let's hear it. Well, it's quite clear that you have diabetes. Your blood glucose concentration is greater than 125 milliliters per deciliter. Now, that means you have diabetes. Thank God, it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. Yes, but it doesn't mean that you can't take care of this. Well, what does this mean? What do we gotta do? The solution is weight loss. We will give you a diet plan in order to lose some weight. But what if that doesn't work? If doesn't work, we'll just give you an insulin injection to regulate your uh, sugars. Thank you so much, Doc, for all your help. Just do my job, sir. <laughs> Let's go see what there is to eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go and talk to our patient about the situation. Well, I'll go and talk. Come okay. on. Um, how are you guys? No, sit down. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm down. Ow. Oh my god. They don't want to see either because he tested negative. My dragons are red. Wait, what? Thank god. Let's hear them. Well, we don't necessarily have an answer yet. Star aggravated looks. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh my god, you jerk! <laughs> That's our script! <laughs> 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 <laughs>